you have something better to do? Let's uh, stay away from Ebside. The locals there don't exactly appreciate the tourists. be surprised. They can get pretty possessive. Doesn't matter if it's my things or my time. Yeah, it's not all bad. Love can be toxic or it can be beautiful. Sometimes people just confuse the two. But sounds like it all worked out in the end. I've got my slate which means the people will get their trip. Inspiration's like a wave. Sometimes, it's hard to catch it before the break. That's what this light is. A still wave. A feeling frozen in time. And I appreciate you bringing it back to me. Yeah, it looked like nothing was downloaded or tampered with. I'm almost glad it was taken by a fan instead of a competitor. Would have been awful to lose that thing. I was working on a brand new concept piece about floating into the center of existence. I'm not feeling it yet. I'm still working out the last few sections, but eventually I'll give it a spin in the Astral Lounge. Thanks again for finding that thing. Next time, I'll try and keep an eye on it. Soon safe. It's a bad place for tourists these days. The whole area's gone to hell. Days are too short. Life is too long. You lost, kiddo. Sure, sure. I just don't get too many 
quality customers here. Most folks head over to Newell's or the Emporium if they've got the creds. I'd say less than half my customers are legit. The others are just kids up to no good. Ah, just something I call everyone. Nothing to get worked up over. I had some high hopes for this shop back when my husband and I opened it a while back. These days, if you ain't a regular, you're usually trouble. Of course, something happened. Ain't that always the case? Let's just say those hopes died a long time ago, and there ain't no reviving them. Snacks, drinks, odds and ends, typical convenience store fare. Thought we'd snag a few of the Astro Lounge club goers who might want something to go on their way home. Turns out we were more appealing to the local gangs. Mm-hmm. Sounds like we understand each other then. I may not be on the main strip, but I make enough to keep me afloat. Lucky for me, my regulars are a devoted crew. Mostly tied up in those good-for-nothing gangs. Those disciples and strikers always fighting over who gets to run the place. And not giving a damn over whose lives they ruin. Solomon thought a small convenience store with cheaper prices would make a killing. Of course, the only killing made was when he got himself shot in a robbery. Now it's just me running this place, so you can see why I'm not a huge fan of strangers in my shop. Just the usual. You're the one getting special treatment. Huh. I knew you was some sort of trouble. I've got one rule for you in there. So it shouldn't be hard to remember. Third floor is off limits. They catch you snooping around, and it's open season. I'm more of an honorary member. I let them take up residence in the back, keep things looking legit. They keep this business afloat, so finances don't keep me up at night. That's what I like to hear. For the record, I'm only granting you access because I have to. You'll find that young lady you're looking for holed up in a room almost straight ahead. Just remember to keep your eyes on the prize. The less you consider this an open house, the better. I wonder how many poor souls who couldn't make it in New Atlantis ended up working at the fisheries in Neon.
No funny business. You try anything. Well, this amount of firepower is a bit of overkill, wouldn't you say? I figured our paths would cross sooner or later. Not that I thought I was safe, but I never expected anyone to just slip by all the Syndicate here. I had a feeling you'd be the one to come after me. You stay in this business long enough, you get enough favors and connections that can help you see anything coming. Nyx owed me a favor, and gave me the heads up. Yes, and no, but mostly no. Just hear me out, okay? I know this doesn't look good, but I had no choice. Ularu set me up. Yes, I've been acting as a double agent, but because she ordered me to. The assignment was meant to deceive, not benefit. And Project Dominion is way above my pay grade. It'd be impossible for me to deliver it. At least, intentionally. Of course. But first you have to understand. She used me to play an unwitting part in this, so I'm the one that takes the fall. That's why I said it'd be impossible for me to intentionally pull this off. I'm not the one with motive here. First... I'm not about to reboot my life. Second, I'm not spending the rest of my life looking over my shoulder for the next field op they'd send after me. Look, I only know about Project Dominion because I wanted to know exactly what I was being accused of leaking. But that tech is dangerous. An internal neuroamp that can theoretically control other people? If the evidence points to me, it's because Ularu used it to set me up. What better way to frame someone than to take control of their mind and have them actually perform the actions? The existence of a device that can control a person's mind is terrifying. Imagine the horrors you could... Oh, never mind. I don't want to think about it. Because she knows I'm the most believable target, I'm the only one at Ryujin with the skills to even come close to being able to pull off a job like this. Power, of course. Corporations maintain their success by any means necessary, but there are some measures Masako is reluctant to take. You may have noticed that none of your assignments directly involve murder. Masako reserves those actions only when it's absolutely necessary. Ularu sees this as a sign of weakness that needs to be dealt with. It's the only scenario that makes sense. Besides, what's my motive? My career is solid at Ryujin. Infinity can't possibly beat my current benefits. Believe me, after having to play double agent, I've learned all of this firsthand. Yes, it's what the technology does, and it explains why the evidence against me is so solid. Come to think of it, it also explains a few strange bouts of disorientation I've been having the past few months. That's exactly what I've been doing here. Ularu has the skill to pull this off, but she's also been behind the desk for years now. I knew she'd miss something. This slate? holds all the evidence against her. I just need you to deliver it to Dalton. It's the only way I can prove I'm innocent. Nix's contract limits his investigation to Ularu's computer and her network activity. I hacked into building security and was able to recover deleted records of her accessing the Project Dominion prototype. I guarantee the third-party company Dalton is using for his security directive Theta won't even notice it. 
I was hoping you would. I'm still going to lay low until I hear the coast is clear. As long as Ularu still thinks I'm on the run, she'll remain confident that her plan is working. And I know you don't hear it much around the office, but thanks. So Ularu is the actual culprit. That complicates things. We're going to have to proceed very carefully, or else Dalton might send someone after us. thought of me as her protégé. All this time, I was just a scapegoat. I see. You've done that before. Websites changed. I hope this means you finished your business. Me. Are you kidding me? Well, look who's back. So tell me, what did you find out? Inside the Syndicate? That area's off limits, and I think we both know why. Imogene knew exactly what she was doing when she went there. <laughs> if you think I'm paying for that information, think again. It's just a matter of time before it finds its way onto my desk. And I can be a very patient person. <sighs> I had a feeling you'd say that. Enjoy your time with Dalton. It'll all trickle back to me sooner or later.
I hate waiting. It's just more time to doubt myself. I've got my eye on you. Is there something I can help you with? <laughs> Excuse me? Let me close this door before you say anything else you might regret. Just a moment. Shutting the door and engaging locks. That's better. And that's quite the story you just threw in my face. Not to mention a serious accusation. And just where is this absurd notion coming from? Is this a game? I wasn't aware. It is a horrible thing when such well-made plans can't be shared. You really think I'd believe that? Will you? If you only knew the number of truths we corporations hide on a daily basis, perhaps you'd rethink that statement. Looks like someone's been brushing up on their corporate skills. Fine. Since it's just you and me here, I'll come clean. I leaked Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. But I'm no mole. Please. It's insulting that you think I'd actually be working for someone other than Ryujin or myself. With the amount of secrecy and security surrounding that project, I'm happy to report that's true. You see, I'm not a mole. I'm an opportunist. And no one is more loyal to Ryujin than I am. Masako, on the other hand, is losing her touch. Ryujin needs strong leadership for what lies ahead. A CEO who can make the hard decisions. It's all part of my plan. But don't worry. Infinity LTD will never be able to complete Vina's work. I made sure of that. What do you think? If someone was a threat to your family, would you be satisfied waiting for them to strike? Of course not. You'd eliminate the threat before it had a chance to act. In some cases, before it even realized what it was capable of. It was never my intent to involve Imogene. But when you arrived with information on Project Dominion, I knew Infinity had screwed up. I had no choice but to act fast. Imogene is the only one that Dalton and the others would believe was capable of pulling this off. It had to be her. Back then, our decisions were all about screwing people over and white-collar crime. Today, they're more about ensuring success, by any means necessary. So, now that you know, it's time to see how good you are at making hard decisions. With your help, I can take down Masako and make the credits worth your while. So whose side are you on? Masako's or Ryujin's?
Well, it seems we're at an impasse now. The only way you stop me from carrying out my plans to depose Masako is to kill me. You could try to get me fired, but that only delays my plans. Face it, this isn't a game you can win. Go ahead. I guarantee any evidence you have is circumstantial at best. I've created the perfect scapegoat in Imogene. It'd be your word against mine, and I'm pretty sure the odds are in my favor. We'll see about that. Don't wander into any restricted areas. Ryujin certainly spared no expense on the exec floor. My company's future might be riding on this deal. You're back. And Imogene? I suppose you suddenly have all the facts now. This explanation better be good. I have a mind to fire you just for that comment. Of course. We've scrubbed security footage and run through access card permissions and found nothing. The project itself is an enormous security risk, but our lead R&D engineer, Vina Kara, has been working on ways to mitigate this. That should shake things up around here just a bit. I find it hard to believe Ularu would take the chance to incriminate herself. But if this slate provides indisputable evidence to corroborate your story, well, that's enough proof for me. It will be a relief to reinstate Imogene as well. Now, I need to undertake the laborious task of writing up a report to summarize all of this. In the meantime, Masako has requested your presence in R&D. She wants you to meet her in Vinakara's office. Vina's the head of our research and development team. She's the creator of Project Dominion, and often considered the protege of Ray de Karis, Ryujin's founder. Just take the elevator down to research and development. You'll find Dr. Kara's office to your left as you enter the floor. Masako's been focusing on how to deal with Infinity LTD and their knowledge of Project Dominion. I believe her plans rely heavily on you. Once I've examined this evidence, I may need your help in moving forward. And not a word about this to anyone. I'll present what I have to the board once I've completed a full report. Keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. This could be the most important meeting of my career. This place is incredible. 